Here's my beginner's guide to design tokens. We go from these basic hex values to these advanced semantic design tokens, super fast. So if we focus on Revolut UI, we can conduct a quick color audit just to learn how many colors are used by Revolut to create this single screen. And the first step here is to collate all of these colors into a list. And with our color list created, we can segment these into gray and blue categories and then order these colors by lightest tone to darkest shade so that we have a clear naming convention that's waiting. So with our colors ordered and categorized, we can then create our primitive tokens, which use the category category name followed by the weight or tone of our shade. So gray 100 to 500 and blue 100 to 400. So if those blue hex codes change, it's reflected in the token really neat. So these are our primitive tokens and they're far more legible than hex values with that color category and weight of tone or shade. Now, if we apply this to Revolut UI, we can see it works really nicely. But if we wanted to update that avatar text to purple, it cascades real bad. So we want to fix this with semantic tokens. These are tokens with purpose. Instead of gray 100, we reference this as mem, color, background, fill. We have three layers, our core hex value, foundation primitive token and descriptive semantic token, which helps ensure that color usage is consistent with UI functionality, promoting a more collaborative and scalable design system. Woo!